Today on Monday, man, I can't believe what I saw last night. I sat watching game seven instead of the football game, watching Atlanta be up most of the game against, you know, our favorite team, LA, but Dodger Blue came through. Roberts, we take our bow down to you and we tell you, good job, but man, your team put it on. We could not believe what I consider one of the greatest plays I've ever seen in playoff situation watching him grab that ball after tagging him and whipping it back towards first. I mean towards third, excuse me, in your head to actually turn to third, whip that ball to him. I believe you saved game seven last night. You're the one that should have got the MVP because that was some bad play, but that was some really, really bad play. And I mean, watching the ball go back and watch Mookie jump up in his play, and grab that sucker going over the fence, you guys came to play last night. I can't say the first couple games you came to play, but the Dodgers showed up from game four, five, six, and seven, the real Dodgers. I just hope you decide to close the envelope this year and put the rings on your fingers, because you guys are due. You've been there towards the championship. You've been in the playoffs routinely. It's time to bring it back home to LA. Even the California period, and the California, we want to talk about our newest asset we have gotten big baller auction. If you take a look right here, this beautiful piece, Mr. All-American himself, Mr. Mike Trout. Now you can see right here, it designates for you on the bottom right here. Then it tells that, well actually, just let me read it to you. Los Angeles Angels, 2012, AL Rookie of the Year, 2014, 2016, and 19, AL MVP. Now, this right here is hand signed by Mr. Mike Trout right here. And on the back, if you look, it's already PSA authenticated. This piece is a very, very beautiful piece. It's an asset to have. Any piece of Mike Trout's signatures, pictures, cards, are a piece of history right now. One of the highest signed contract ever in Major League history. Now, having Mike Trout on your team would be like having Mickey Mantle there. And I'm not so sure, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to Mickey Mantle because I love the player. Mike Trout might actually be better. I went with my son last year, sat on the field with him. His jersey's back on the back wall. We'll throw a picture of it up here for you to see. Mike actually took the time, put my son on his lap, signed his jersey, and signed mine. So Mike Trout, you are a true gentleman, and... You are a real role model for the kids. You take your time for the kids. I've seen you routinely, as I've gotten to meet you, I've seen you routinely spend the time with the kids. I've seen you skip over adults going down the line on the first base side, I mean on the third base side, and making sure you got to all the kids, even if you had to skip some of the adults. I have a lot of respect for that. Not only the way you play, watching you hit the ball, you are a true hitter. Not a power hitter, but a true hitter. Your ball's maybe flying out of the park right and left, but to watch you swing the bat, you go with the pitch. You don't just pull it. And I call that a true hit. So Mike, we salute you, and I will wear your fish knowing that you are a real gentleman and a true baseball player. This piece right here will be an asset to have on your wall at home, one to have for your kids. My son is trying not to let me let, get me not to let it go, but it needs to be out there to the public. So for now, we're gonna leave you hanging right here, Mike, as we have a lot of different of your pieces hanging around the shop. And as you can see right here, we have a Mickey Mantle piece. Right here we have our Ty Cobb piece. It's up for auction right now. And we have a few other odds and ends. But one of the biggest pieces we got in the last couple days was this Tom Brady. It is a 2008, I believe, auto card pit. This is gonna be coming to auction. We're not even gonna wait for the grading on it. We're going to put this up raw so somebody can bring it home cheap. As you can see, it is an authentic card. It is real and it is Tom Brady's signature. We're going to put it up on here on the auction block. Now, we have a lot of different things going down in the shop along with our auction that is thriving right now. We have the, the Mike Trout US 175 card up there. 
we also have a Mike Trout one of one auto card up there, and we have another Tom Brady card up there right now, one of one. That 2010 one of one of his is a beautiful all-star card. You should really get it and take it home. It's an asset to have to your collection, and it is something to buy houses with in the future. I mean, think about it. A one of one Tom Brady, a one of one Mike Trout. I mean, cards like that should be hitting 100,000, 200,000 right now. One thing's guaranteed. In the next two years, I thoroughly believe Tom Brady is going to retire. Watching him play the other night, man, he didn't look like he was anything close to retirement. You watched the beginning of the game, you saw a completely different game. Aaron Rodgers, he was having the ball ran. When they weren't producing the run, he was hitting everybody on small passes here and there. Until that interception by the defense, it looked like my Packers had it wrapped up. But Tom Brady and the Buccaneers came through, and I didn't even see their normal game. They went away from it. They didn't have the penalties they had the year before. I mean, the game before. So I think he really went home and booted them right in the butt and told them in practice, as Tom usually takes control of a team. They got to stop the penalties or they're going nowhere. But that was a beautiful game and one heck of a performance, not only by the defensive line, but by Tom Brady and Gronk. Gronk took over. I mean, he played like a rookie. Even some for somebody that took a year off from football to come back and perform like that, Gronk, you're what got that team out of there. It wasn't just Tom, because he could throw the passes. But if nobody can grab him, what good is he? So we give you the respect. That's where MVP should be. Gronk, you got the MVP in my eyes, at least from big baller auctions. So we tell you thank you. Have fun on the auction and have a blessed day. Big Baller TV.